Okay, so I'm going to be showing you, I'm back from my trip um, to Cannon Beach. Obviously, uh, I got a little bit of sunburned, so I should have used some of the things in here. I'm going to show you what's in my backpack so you know what a um, plein air trip entails. So the first thing we've got is this, um, here's my backpack, if you can see it. First thing I have strapped on is my tripod. Um, obviously very important so I can put my hands on it. Um, so this is a camera bag so in the front top compartment. Open this up. Got some pens, um, some various panels. Some of them actually broke. Um, I've got, this is called a slip-in easel, I think. It's from Judson Gorilla. Um, and it allows me to work with any size. This lip right here opens up so you can see it holds things in there and then it has a couple clips that fit in on here. It allows me to use any size. Um, I've got my sketchbook for doing no tans. Um, I've got my Gorilla palette. And if, I, if you look inside, you can see my colors. And I, I'll tell you a little bit about my colors. Um, I always work, I always set up my palette the same way. And the reason why that's important is kind of like playing the piano. Um, you don't want your keys moving around on you. You want to be able to see where your colors are. So I want when I'm painting to not have to worry about where my colors are. I want them always the same way. And your muscles kind of remember that. So I've got, I believe this is Hansa Yellow Medium. Um, this is Gamblin. Uh, the next is uh, some sort of permanent orange. I try not to use CADS. Um, I believe that's Winsor & Newton. Right next to it is Schmincke's Vermilion uh, Red Tone. It's not real vermilion, but um, the pigment itself is Permanent Red 255, and it's one that I just, I really love. It's very permanent, it's very bright, and it holds its saturation for a long period of time. Next to that, I've got um, Magenta, which is Permanent Red 122. I believe this particular one brand is also Gamblin. Um, this is a uh, convenience mixture that I've had that I have that I've mixed the magenta and my ultramarine blue. The ultramarine blue is schminky as well. And then right here at the bottom, I've got, um, I think it's cobalt turquoise. It's by Winsor & Newton. It's a lovely color, very, very expensive. Um, but especially when I'm working outdoors, I like there to be um, just a nice opaque light blue color. And this one's just delicious. Um, and then further down, we've got the two Portland grays, the Portland gray warm and Portland gray cool. And I don't usually use convenient mixtures, but these are pretty darn handy. I'm a little bit of a convert. And those are made by Gamblin as well. Um, down here, I've got Schmincke's Naples yellow. It's one of the only Naples substitutes that I've found that is a pure pigment. I don't know the off the top of my head what color it is, um, what's the pigment number, but I can look that up and put it in the annotations of the video. And then below that, I've got um, Iron Red Oxide, the red or brown, it's transparent, and that's from Schmincke as well. And I've got um, the Schmincke Mussini um, titanium white and um, down here there's a little bit of medium I don't know if you can see it um, that is Gamblin's new solvent free gel and I again very quick convert with that so that's what's in my palette then if you open it further I usually carry a little thing of Gamblin and these little sample sizes easier to carry um, I've got my box which I will open up in a minute I've got various pencils brushes uh, these clips super handy um, palette knife uh, I use rosemary 
um, ivory brushes. I'm trying to find them right now. Here's here's a a round. They're very snappy. Um, since I started using rosemary, I I can't see myself going back. They're just amazing brushes. And then this this is again a little clip to attach the um, if I want something bigger on my um, box. And makeup removers, very important if you're a messy painter like me. So at the end, you can wash your hands and stuff. Um, okay, I think that's what's, yeah, that's all that's in this front pocket. And I'll show you what's in my box. Again, this is, um, oh, what's it called? Thumb box. Sorry, I'm still a little nervous taking these videos, but hopefully I'll get used to it. Um, this is a thumb box by Judson Gorilla. Um, it has a place to put your paints directly on the palette right here, but I like to use the um, covered palette. Um, that way I can keep my paints a little bit longer. So in here I have another clip, um, palette knife, uh, a few more brushes that fit in here. I've got, this is, well, let me tighten this up a little bit so it doesn't close on me. This is a, um, I think it's called the Mighty Might, Mighty Might Brush Washer. Very small, fits into my box. I can put my um, gam, Gamsol in there, um, or sometimes I like to use Spike Lavender Oil that was used by the um, academic painters or the old masters that used quite a bit of Spike. So that's the stuff I keep in here. Sometimes I put paints in there. Um, another thing I keep in here that I don't have it in here right now, but I have it somewhere in the backpack that I packed really quickly is uh, Velcro dots, and I wanted to show you why I have those. So I have this 6x8 in here, and when I went out on the field, I decided I didn't want to get, didn't, I wasn't really crazy about the composition, so I thought I'd play around with some note tans, and so I needed this smaller to use this smaller canvas and in order to keep it in there instead of you know if I didn't have the velcro dots it would have flopped around so I just put them um, behind this little museum not on um, multimedia board to hold everything in place so I could just pack it away obviously I went yesterday so you can see everything is safe and then on the other side you can see my other painting that I did it Cannon, Cannon Beach. So I'm going to take those out right now so they can dry. And the nice thing is this kept it all safe. It's a great way to transport your paintings. Close this up. This actually does fit right in there. Um, I believe I didn't put it in there during, I don't know, when you're leaving your painting location, sometimes you can get hurried and you just start stuffing things and get out of there. So that's what's in that front pocket. And there's these super cool little pockets in here where I keep uh, business cards. Um, I have lens cleaners for my camera or for my iPad if I'm carrying my iPad. I've got composition finder. Again, this is from Gorilla. And um, Another composition finder. It's red in order to help you gauge the value. So when you look through it, um, it makes all the the values how dark or light everything is really um, more apparent. I always carry a hairband when you have hair like me. It's kind of a necessity. Um, and then a little tiny brush washer. So that's in that pocket. This is kind of a surprise to me too because I don't know what I keep in all the pockets all the time. Let's see what's in here. Oh, emergency. Um, really important way of, of getting hydrated. So I always keep one of those around. Sometimes a Zip Fizz as well. Um, Zip Fizz is an energy drink that has like massive amounts of vitamins in it. So I'm going to turn my backpack around. Sorry about the door, that's my kids' friends. They come in and out. It's late summertime here. So on the bottom part, I have got sure. Oh, wait. I've got my camera. Big camera. It's a Canon. And then another lens cleaner. Because I'm always getting all over the place. 
just stuff everywhere. I always need to have that cleaning type stuff with me. Um, so the camera is nice to have around and of course as I start taking more videos I'm going to keep that with me. When I'm traveling out of state I will um, keep my camera with a, a charger in there and a little S, um, USB adapter. So now I'm going to open up the back pocket and you can see I kind of threw things willy nilly. I just found my white. Um, I like to use blue shop towels. Um, they have a lot less lint in them than the regular paper towels. Um, they last a lot longer and we've already established I'm messy so I kind of need that. Um, I've got this little paint holder. This is where I keep all my paints. When I'm traveling like um, by airplane I will, let me see, willy nilly. These are by the way awesome Mongoose brushes from Rosemary. They're called the Master's Choice. Totally look them up. And so this is where I hold my paint tubes and I already discussed the different brands that I use. Um, when I'm traveling by airplane, I will put these actually, um, make sure that they're in my suitcase if my backpack is put on as a carry-on. And then I put a little TSA notification saying that they're not really um, they're not paints, they're pigments suspended in vegetable oil. So that way nobody gets freaked out and they don't take my paints away from me, which would be a disaster. Um, I have a Gray Matters palette. Uh, if I know that I'm not going to be reusing my paints, I'll use that and having the neutral little paper palettes makes a big difference. And then I've got sunscreen which obviously I didn't use so my bad um, and then the last thing you'll probably need in there is uh, a garbage bag I used mine so it's no longer in here I'm gonna check my pockets make sure I haven't missed anything uh, always be sure to take a water bottle with you and be prepared for inclement weather okay that's what I've got in my uh, plein air backpack. I hope you join me again and thank you so much for supporting my journey um, to create beautiful art and be able to do tutorials in the future, share them with others and help others um, find their own painting journey. All right, this is Talia. Bye.